Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you the ocean shader, the progress on it. So let's deep dive and show you where we at. If you enjoyed any of the videos on this channel and if you are a fan, could you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button. Surprisingly, 85% of the people who watched my videos are unsubscribed. Your quick action of hitting that subscribe button will support this channel and as it grows, we will be able to share even more free content with you. Hello everybody, just a quick update on the ocean shader works. Right now what we have is infinite ocean shader. So what's the tag behind it? We render in the near sector of the camera, we render the shoreline, the form, the ocean itself. And here in the horizon, you can see that we have some kind of ocean, but it's not rendered out. So the idea is to have huge performance, very good performance. And on this far end of the ocean, we don't render in order for us to save performance. Right now, as you can see, we have mixing a lot of different kind of noises to get the, those waves over here. We have foam on the top of the waves and this is not still ready. The other thing that we have is depth-based shader. We are using the shader that is applied for the rivers and for the still water. And as you can see over here at the shoreline, we have a little fading line. So you can see here the depth and getting down on the surface over here, we are having more depth, more bluish color over here. Also, you can see how the waves are reacting to different surfaces. So you, you have here a little less water. The other thing that we have over here, except custom tessellation and the infinite ocean over here. So if you're creating an open world game, for example, sailing game or some pirate ship game, you can use this shader over here inside your project in order for you to simulate the ocean itself. The things that we are working on right now, so let me play the level. Right now I'm dropping the character. We have implemented the swimming functionality into the ocean and we're working on some other stuff like uh, bonus for for static meshes over here as you can see this cube but we have some some problems to fix right now they are not reacting always on the waves itself and if we go here in the water you can see that you can swim in this ocean you have the ripples you can go up you can dive deep on the ocean you see on the reverse normal map on the ocean the thing is that right now the character is not always reacting to the waves and this is something that we are working on on fixing sometimes it's react it reacts but not fully and this is something that we need to fix also as you can see here the static meshes are sometimes floating but those are the two things that we need to fix otherwise the ocean's shader is completely done and the other thing is to fix those this form because this form is a little bit blurry over here and I want to have a tiling over it so we can control how uh, tiled it is and not to be so pixelated and blurry all right so this is about the ocean shader and of course if you select the ocean shader itself and if you go to the material and this is the material instance of the ocean water if I double click, you can find all the parameters over here that we have for the other shader, which includes the river and the still water. And you can start playing around, let's say, with the cower, something like this. Go with, to the scatter cower, let's do green. And you can pretty much do everything with your ocean shader. Here you can change form cower, you can shade change the shoreline, the ripples. So pretty much a lot of settings you can tweak over here in order for you to get the desired color and effect of the ocean shader. So this is a quick update how this ocean shader is looking and just a few more fixes and it will be live on my Patreon page and on FAP. Thank you guys for watching this update. See you in the next video.